Hello everyone! Today I'm going to teach you how to reset an Epson L5190 printer. But before we proceed to that, we have to make sure that the Windows security is off temporarily because we cannot we cannot reset if it's on. So let's click on the virus and threat protection and then manage settings and you are going to turn it off temporarily okay so let's close and then okay, so you have to download first the Epson L5190 plus the keygen noswear.com Okay, so let's right click and then extract here. Okay, so after extracting, this folder will come out. So what you have to do is to open the folder and then click on the L5191 PC folder. And click on the adjustment program. Okay, so the Win license will come out saying, sorry, this software cannot be run without a license key. So you don't have to worry when this, com when this comes out because you will be needing this later. So this is your hardware ID. So you have to copy this by pressing the control C. The shortcut for copy. And then in the search box, you have to type notepad. Okay, open the notepad. And right click and then paste. So you can, you can remove other words. Okay, and just leave the hardware ID. Okay, to be copied later. So let's just minimize it. And close this win license. Now, the next step is to go back to the specific generators folder and click on the exe and then open the WLGen Epson L5190. So this is a specific key generator and you just have to select the license manager. Okay, so click the add license. So in this customer, let's say for example, the customer is Maye and the company is Maye INC. And the hardware ID, let's go back to the notepad and copy the hardware ID. Control C. Or you can also right click and then copy, minimize, and then right click again and paste. And in the custom data, you may also, for example, type my maya.com and then click save okay so now we have maya inc and maya.com so you just have to remember the name the company and the custom data that you created and then click on the create license key click on ok and take a look at here. Look, so there is a folder now. The, the name of the folder is Maye, Maye INC, and that is based on what I created. What I created on the customer's name, the company, and the custom data. So since we already have, we already have a folder here, we can close this now. Okay, close, close. And then 
we are going to go back to the L5191 PC and then click on the Adjustment Program. Mm -hmm. If this Win License comes out again, don't worry. So if it doesn't work, just close it and then go back to the folder that we created in the specific generators, exe. So open the, the Maye, Maye INC, the folder that I created, and then copy all of this. Copy all of this. Okay, copy to the L5191 PC folder together with adjust adjustment program. Okay, so they're all together now. So let's see if this will work. So since we already copied the content of the folder that I created in this folder, so let's click on the adjustment program and then okay. There you go. So that's it. You can now reset your printer. So select. So L5190 is already selected. And in the port, auth selection is also recommended. And then OK. And then click on the particular adjustment mode. And then click on the waste ink pad counter and then OK. So now the next step is to tick on the main pad counter and then click the check. OK, so there you can see the number of point and the percentage. And then after that, you have to tick again and then initialize. When the OK button is clicked, counter will be initialized. So let's click on OK. Please turn off the printer. So I will turn off the printer. OK. And then the waste ink pad counter has been initialized properly. Turn on the printer and click the check button to check the waste ink pad counter value. So I will turn again the printer. Okay. And then finish. Okay, so it's done. So I hope you get something from me on how to reset a printer that is L5190. Thank you.